Good morning and welcome to next video. So today is Saturday the 30th, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, Saturday the 30th and you know, I've been in this slum as I'm every single year between Christmas and New Year. I don't really know what day it is, what I'm doing with myself, who I am and you know, it's just full on chill mode. So Basically since Sunday, I don't think I have left the house, my bedroom and my bed besides going to the bathroom and make myself food. So oh, that's that, lovely. Um, my sleeping schedule doesn't exist. So I'm falling asleep around like three-ish, sometimes even late and waking up around like 11, 12. Today I woke up at 12, now it's 12.33 because it took me three, 33 minutes to actually get out of my bed and uh, start functioning. So that's fun. Uh, today I'm actually going out. So my uh, my sister, my friend and I, we go in for dinner at 7.30 and then around 10ish we booked a theatre. So I'm quite excited to go and see it. So it will be me socialising before New Year, which is very unheard of. And then after that, my sister's coming over and uh, she's staying for the New Year's Eve. So I think tomorrow we're doing like a food shop. I'm just going to be very chilled one. I think we... We, I think we're gonna work on uh, my business and her business. I have to say, even though I was lazy, I actually managed to finish work for one of my clients. So that's very good. So it's now all done and set. So I'm very pleased about it. But yeah, I'm gonna make myself some food, a uh, late brunch. Uh, probably it's gonna be just a bagel with... Uh, jam and butter because that's why I like at the moment and make myself coffee and yeah then I will do something about this appearance so I'm finally out of shower um uh, took me longer than I expected because I went there at three it's sort of dark I fucking hate this weather in I genuinely hate winter in England because it's just too too dark and wet but anyways it is what it is so I I I I I'm about to do my my carp which I'm not very really good at but it is what it is I already did my skincare and um put the sunscreen on even though it's dark and stuff but you know I believe that sunscreen is important I started using it every single day since coming back from Korea and I will do it it's something I do really enjoy and it's just one little step in a skincare in the morning so or before I go out so it's fine um yeah I was thinking I've been mean, like you know it's end of the year and I want to reflect. I want to reflect. So let's have a little cheaty chat while I do my makeup because why not? Um, I set a few goals on the beginning of 2023. Did I achieve all of them? No. Did I achieve some? Yes. Did I achieve some half? Yes. Half no. Yes. But that's fine. I I think. What I took most from this year was that uh, feeling depressed is, uh, is actually fine and if you talk about it, it feels better. I realised that I have few people around me who are just, I'm really happy that they are there, let's say it that way. So it's definitely my sister and as it's a few of my friends, like I don't have many friends to be fair, I'm not very sociable. And that's just something I am, but, you know, it is what it is. But I definitely uh, seen that have some of the good people on your side is very, very beneficial. So starting with foundation, I'm using Laneige Cushion Foundation, which I've got in Korea and I still have it. So, 
yeah I, I realized I really enjoy cushion foundation and I feel like my makeup is getting a bit better than it used to be because I was wearing loads and loads of makeup and then I kind of fell out of the relationship with makeup I hated it at some point I was just like I can't be bothered so I'm slowly 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 getting back but that's one of the things that in 2024 I really want to go back to and I want to do it for myself because on the end of the day when I finish doing my makeup I feel good I really like how it makes me feel and I should do it I should not be lazy and stay in bed another 10 minutes in the morning I should be just you know getting up do my makeup and feel good so that's definitely something that wasn't on the radar this year and I realized that is something I want to achieve in 2024 to fall in love with makeup again and make myself feel better so luckily I'm really pale so I feel like this shade does the job maybe I look more paler I don't know I definitely look paler <laughs> I can see that now but you know it is what it is and I'm gonna I'm gonna change it a bit but yeah um what else what else um I put a little bit of pressure on me to be like I need to be more sociable and I should be going out I should be getting back to dating but I hated it I hated every single bit and after that not that I went out and been dating like crazy and meeting new people but there were a couple months when I went on like two three dates and after that I was like I hate it I don't want to do it and I'm just happy with myself so I kind of want to continue doing that however I want to challenge myself yeah I really want to challenge myself and start going out and want to meet new people I want to make more friends there's this like uh app for making a female friends which I think I should maybe consider and really try and if it doesn't work then at least you know I'm like I'm trying socialize and trying to find new friends it doesn't need to be super close friendship but it's just like nice i guess to have some new people to talk to get some new perspective from them and stuff like that so that will be a focus in 2024 because i failed a big time in 2023 um another thing is i've i've been quite all right with saving uh this year and obviously I went to Korea which was massive for me so that cost lots of money and then I still managed to save and I have savings which are just like savings that I can't touch and you know I feel I feel kind of stable with my money how I'm managing them at the moment I used to be really bad I was spending all my money and did many uh, savings when I was the opposite I tried to save as much as possible and then treat myself just with stuff which is on sale I usually send it back as well so that's that but yeah I really want to just you know um what's the word for it I just wanna be even better with my money and with the savings plus I have a big plans for this year but for the end of the year so now um Spending money is actually a priority. Not spending, not spending money and saving money is a big priority this year. And I will later on share with you, obviously, why I need to save and then how much I'm saving and what's kind of my reason behind and how I kind of manage my finances because I think not many people are actually talking about it. And I felt a long time. I felt for a long time kind of frustrated because I didn't really know 
it wasn't that I really didn't know how to spend, but it was kind of like the whole pressure of like going out and treating myself and then obviously safe as well. You know, when in this like uh, fluster cluster, <laughs> I would call it, and I kind of failed both. So maybe it's going to help to someone. But yeah, I think as well that you probably notice I moved and it's nothing fancy. I actually moved to my previous place that I used to live a couple of years back and I did adjust from the reason that I will be paying less rent than I paid in my previous place and you know it just it just do. Uh, I enjoy my room, I kind of redone it as much as I can. Obviously I can do more but I decided not to because I would be wasting money because I'm gonna be here to just you know for just certain times so I'm just gonna do as much as I can with the minimum investments so far I'm quite happy with it I feel much more happier than in my previous place even my other place was more brighter and a little bit bigger and I decorated it <laughs> close to my moving out but you know I made it really nice for myself I enjoyed it but then I was thinking like there's no point to pay loads and loads and loads for accommodation when you have other goals other priorities so yeah I think that's also like it was a goal last year to feel good in my place where I'm staying and I kind of achieved it later this uh, this year when I moved and that's good so I'm happy about that and I'm just rumbling it's getting late I need to start doing my makeup so yeah let's continue this chat a bit later on okay so makeup is done don't think you can see much a difference but it is what it is but I put this sparkle or shimmer on the I don't know if you can really see it so it's from Dear Dahlia which is a Korean brand and it is just so pretty love the packaging as well and it's just so sparkly so I don't know if you can see on my eye hopefully you can and yeah now I'm just gonna dry my hair fix my nails because I lost one and I lost two and dress myself and I'm ready to go. My sister's coming as well, then we're going together. So yeah, exciting. No regret on work. What a crowd. I need a face left. Happy now. Dream of the wasteland one. no voice so yesterday I'm saying how I need to save I'm not spending money I'm so proud of myself last night we went out and I spent 120 quid so mm, it is what it is I'm a bit fragile now I'm going to little with my sister to buy food and then we will see step one step backward one step no regret
so we just finished making kimchi it actually went really well it's so much better than last time when we did it i think the flavors are now really authentic so i can't wait we're gonna wait a couple of days and then i will test it i will document it as well and show you in the next vlog um still have problem with my voice but yeah yeah it's fine i'm so tired so it's about 5 30 so <laughs> i'm literally about to start editing this video and then probably gonna do a bit more work for my business and then wait for the new year's so yeah very easy very calm day yesterday unexpectedly going out and actually had the best time so that was good that is it for today's vlog so i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you're new here subscribe and i'll see you next monday with the brand new vlog happy new year 2024 i hope it's a good one bye